And what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Bird, man. Just checking with you, man. Um, you know, pretty much after, you know, the fuckery in, uh, in Virginia, and, you know, there was more fuckery going on in Seattle and you know, around the country. You know, Trump um, in denial. Uh, I don't know why media is saying now. Fuck, he's a white supremacist. He he been a white supremacist from day one. He never ve he never veered off of him of being the white supremacist and the white supremacy policies that he put in, in, in effect, even before he even started running for president. So um, the thing about it, man, shout out to Miss Lavette Cornell, uh, Charles Fox. You know what I'm saying. Uh, um, Actually, I, I mean, I, caught, I was a little late, but I caught the uh, the break the breakdown break it down point um, chat uh, last night. Um, it was a great video, great discussion going on, um, and with with I think the thing, the main thing about it is I don't think really white people give a fuck about statues and confederacy and all. Everything like that they say they hold dear, I really don't think they give a fuck about. Um, Cause she points something behind that statue, that Charlottesville statue. And the reason why it's getting taken down, they're not they're not pissed off that it's, it's getting just taken down because it's getting taken down. They're getting pissed off because the reasons of why it's going to be taken down. And the reasons kind of hit the fucking nail in the head. Shout out for Child Fog, but shout out for Miss Vet really pointed that out. Um, little, maybe it's a little shot that my man Boyce or Tariq didn't pick it up, but maybe they did, but I didn't, I didn't hear that from them. When she when she broke it down to you know on, on her on her video on her chat and um, she was talking about the reparation and I think the, the, they got a congressman out there in, um, out there in Charlottesville and they they're taking it down for reparation uh, process they they're already starting the reparation plan and I'm I'm and. I know a lot of, you know, a lot of black people didn't think it's going to be coming, but I think slowly a lot of these places recognize we got to take care of black people first. And this is where the outrage is coming now, because if you tell any, you tell any white person, non-racist or racist, you said, well, you think black people need reparations, you're going to get a very different reaction and answer. All right now, you know the white supremacist is gonna say fuck no, but if you tell it to a quote non-racist white person or you know a basic uh, rationale person, white person, whatever, they're gonna tell you in different deceptions and encoded words, but it still lead to the same conclusion with a, a base that white supremacists will say and the word that goes straight to the point is no so because there was a lot like I said Trump was right about one thing every 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 monument in this country came from slavery icons slavery era slavery it came from a slavery-based economy, sla slavery established um, rulership, slavery economic base to capitalism, to even power, military, whatever, by all the way down the spectrum. And you say every 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 fucking figure in American history that, that came from the founding to be and to, uh, to you know to eighteen sixty five had dealing with slavery, slavery. You know what I'm saying? George Washington was a slave owner, you know? Andrew Jackson was a slave owner. Jefferson was a slave, raped, raped many fucking slave 
of female slaves. Uh, you had you had a lot of you had a lot of fucking people with, with had hands in slavery. You had you had a lot of families in the northern, like New England, that had investments and plantations, and some back even farther than that on slave ships. So. I mean, Trump was right about that. I mean, you, you, you want to do it, let's just fuck it. You need to take down all of them or, or put them like, yeah, you know, a founding father and slave owner. Um, but when you think about it, man, the, the, the reparation campaign is kind of picking up steam. A lot of, a lot of local governments are now taking the mission of maybe giving out reparations. And this is where a lot of that pushback is now coming back. Because now it's gotten real. It's, it, it became a thought. At first it became a thought to an ideal, to a plan, to an evade, to an action. And that's what, it, that's what a lot of fucking white people are seeing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, it's spearheaded by the white supremacists. But as a whole, this, like, this is what they're seeing. You know what I'm saying? This is really what, this is really becoming the, it's, it's starting to become a reality. And, and also too, man, you know, you got a little, when I went, okay, my last video, I said about the face of white supremacy. I wasn't, I wasn't mainly just talking about the fucking, quote, Nazis and all that stupid shit. I, mean, I wasn't even talking about them. I'm talking about the fucking politicians. I'm talking about the fucking police. I'm talking about, the government itself, you know, they weaponize a lot of those different branches of government and, and, and social departments against black people since the day they quote free black people from 1865. Now don't get me wrong, in a short time from 1865 to maybe 1920 or 1930, there was, there was some flourishing black communities going on. But as you can see now, that shit no longer exists. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that could have been black old money no longer exists. And you know, you got, like what we're dealing with, we got new money. And black people don't have old money. And we're, if you're fucking broke, your kids are going to be broke. And you're about to square one. Now, I'm not blaming told black people that's that go with white people you know what I'm saying from Jim Crow era you had normal people out there participating in lynchings you have no you had normal people out there protesting uh, against the removal of those Confederate monuments Rod, uh, of Robert Lee General Robert Lee so what was the one thing about Trump said? A lot of those are good. He, when he said good folks, he's really saying in code. A lot of them is really you guys as well. You just you're you're more of a rationalist, but the same ideology, not the same circumstance of ideology, but the same thinking and mentality is still there. I tell anybody, go ask a white person, go whatever. Just say, hey man, do you think we black people need reparation? They'll give you a hundred thousand different fucking excuses or reason why not they should not have this, uh, um, fucking re uh, reparation. And the thing is, black people, we, we, oh, this whole country wouldn't have even came into an existence. It wouldn't even, Europe, Europe and America wouldn't even fucking survive. It would have been like the fucking Middle Ages, uh, Dark Ages Part 2 and shit. So, um, there was a, there, there's a there's a government systematic. When I say systematic, this goes deeper than a fucking just a Nazi bunch of hooligan motherfuckers tearing up shit. And eventually, yeah, they 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 took some lives. But this go beyond them. You know what I'm saying? Right now, white people spoke on the election. They if they wanted to say no to white supremacy and racism. Donald Trump would not be the fucking president. So, black people need, I like, black people need to get off this stupid shit. 
and understand. It ain't just all white people. You had a lot of non-fucking uh, white people that voted him. Spanish, um, other, you know, other maybe certain Asian groups voted for him. So you had a lot of you had a lot of fuckery that even for them to want to be down with white supremacists that they even sabotage their own self-interest. They. They, they want to be down for white supremacy to also target you guys, me, you, this. So, understand the, the this is a, this is a reality, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't fucking start understanding, um, this gonna be, this gonna be a very, 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 uh, bloody, um, result. And let me tell you, man, throughout history, black people have been getting genocides for fucking at least three to four hundred years. So, um, you gotta understand that. Um, but as well, like I said, shout out to Van Cornell, man. I had to, I had to, you know, that was a, I was an in depth because I never always, I was, I always wonder, like, okay, you know, it's a little weird, but I, I never really thought about it. I didn't think about the reparation. But yeah, that's the that's the that's what they're putting for. So it's a lot of shit going on, man. Um, I'm gonna hit you with the next comment, man. Hit, the, hit you with the next video, um, man. Check out Mr. Ben Cornell, China Fox. All right, one.